I thought once they had what they wanted, they were going to shoot me. What matters is if it's the same story repeated over and over again. The Caribbean. Exotic beaches. Beautiful weather. With warm and friendly people. Tourism is an important sector in the region. The Caribbean is the most tourism dependent destination in the world and visitors are captivated by its natural beauty. But there's another side to the Caribbean, a side of its sands in stark contrast to the picturesque scenery, gang violence, rapes and homicide after homicide. According to the UN, the Caribbean has one of the highest murder rates in the world of 30 per 100,000 people annually. The death toll from the unrest in Kingston continues to rise. The police are in a pitched battle trying to catch Christopher Dunas Coke. The recent Christopher Coke siege in Kingston, Jamaica, got the full TV news treatment, putting the region in an unfavorable spotlight. The unrest headlined all major news packages. Over 70 people were killed as police and gangs fought each other. Regional officials say the negative publicity could have a detrimental impact on the tourism industry. But will it really have a major impact? Officials say yes. Frankly, if I'm a visitor and I'm thinking of going to Jamaica and Kingston in particular, and I have just read in every single newspaper headline, 40 dead, 60 dead, 500 arrested, 40 lying in the streets, barricades to the airport, um, um, embassies moving out. I, I mean, I would not go. I mean, straight case. Well, I think, you know, there's obviously a lot of attention on Jamaica. Um, and, you know, journalists tend to then look at the region. And unfortunately, the region has been going through a very difficult time. Uh, crime has been on the increase in the region for a couple of years, but even in particular this year, we've seen you know, a huge spike um, in murders um, in the region. Um, and this is something that we need to be very cognizant of. Luckily um, for the region, uh, this spate has not been um, directed towards tourists, but certainly um, it's putting the region at risk. Um, and it's something that we're gonna have to be able to deal with. And it runs in the face of the marketing programs that we have, where we talk about coming to paradise, coming to uh, uh, very safe places, etc. Islands in the eastern region have not been immune to the violence. A regular UK visitor, who is also a honeymoon and travel advisor, always regarded the Caribbean as a safe destination. Until one day. He put something to my head and said, don't scream, don't make a noise. I'm going to put the light on and we, won't, we don't want to hurt you. So we put the light on and I looked up and I saw um, a middle-aged gentleman who was fairly tall um, and he was with two accomplices who were probably in their late 20s, early 30s and a teenager who looked to me young enough to be a school child, uh, around 15 or 16. Um, they then proceeded to go through all my possessions, emptying handbags. The violence in the Caribbean is having an impact on regular visitors. People are wary to visit certain islands in the region. Jamaica was one example used. The recent unrest there was one of the main reasons cited. Now, I've always wanted to visit Jamaica, but my, it's my husband that's always said to me, oh no, you know, don't go there because th there's a lot of violence. And I, I never believed it until recently when, you know, all this, all this stuff's been happening. So I've been put off going there. What's happening in Jamaica at the moment uh, with uh, the, the problems there, and uh, obviously it'll put you off actually going to Jamaica right, right now. So uh, things like that obviously uh, are a bit worrying. And it continues to worry regional officials who fear the crime problem could threaten tourism and eventually hit the economy. Crime has even caused one regular cruise line to make a hard decision. But it's an area of concern to us, the fact that cruise lines um, have made a decision not to um, continue coming to St. Lucia in some cases. Well, it is one particular case in fact, so I don't know that we should make a generalization 
um, with one particular case, the one cruise line um, that has made a determination not to come into St. Lucia. Um, it is important to us, obviously, our country depends on tourism and it's important even though it is one. But there, there are many areas of concern seems to be um, robberies involved in um, the passengers. The island of Trinidad and Tobago hasn't been spared from the escalating violence. Last year, the U.S. and U.K. warned the travelers about crime there. Antigua has not escaped either. The murder of a British honeymoon couple sent shockwaves through the country. Tourism was affected. There were lots of cancellations and losses amounted to more than a million dollars. I think two years ago, when, or two or three years ago, when the honeymoon couple were killed in Antigua, that made a huge impact on tourism there. At the moment, Jamaica has been a no-go area for British under the Foreign Office advice. Um, certainly, they were told, told to take caution in Antigua if they were travelling to Antigua a couple of years ago. And I know that wasn't then going to be people's first choice. But not everyone was impacted by that incident. One visitor who stayed at the same hotel where the honeymoon couple were murdered felt the incident was a one-off. She would have visited the island despite the negative media publicity. I was a bit wary, I guess, because it was such high profile news here in Wales because the couple who were murdered were actually from Wales. Um, so it was very much in the news. Um, but it didn't deter me at all. It didn't, it didn't make me think, no, I won't go back to Antigua. Um, because when we were there previously, I, I always felt completely safe and I assumed I would do then when I went again which is good news for tourism authorities in the Caribbean. But Jamaica has a much bigger problem and an unusual solution. It, Jamaica is very fortunate in many ways because um, uh, their uh, campaign for the last 20, 25 years has been that Kingston is Kingston and tourism is tourism. And uh, have done a very good job in, in repeating that the problems that they're having are in Kingston. Um, in my understanding is, is it has been very minimal fallout so far um, as it pertains to tours who are on island and even future bookings. Even so, the minister has admitted media coverage has a big impact. Clearly, um, third party endorsement um, is still a, a significant, uh, uh, it plays a significant role in convincing people to come to a destination. So, I mean, we spend millions and millions of dollars uh, attracting journalists to come to the region um, to uh, get their opinion and, and they obviously still have a huge distribution power. Um, it's changing in, in, in many ways because it's becoming substantially more electronic but it's very significant. And the media's significance is greatest with repetition. Media tends to have an impact, especially news media. Most people don't pay a lot of attention to news media. They don't hear a lot that, that's said on, on news media. They don't remember a lot from news media. So for something to get through, it has to be a, a story that's repeated over and over again. So when you get the same story being told over and over again, then it has an impact. Whether it's good news story, you know, everything is wonderful in the Caribbean, everything's great. If that story was told over and over again, it would have an impact. Um, equally, if the story you're, you're hearing over and over again is there is a lot of crime or here is another crime taking place in the Caribbean, then that will have an impact. The media's influence on the Caribbean tourism industry is mixed because two contradictory images are competing with one another. So what's interesting in the case of the Caribbean is that you have potentially two very different pictures be, or two diff very different stories being told and they conflict. One is a story that says this is a potentially dangerous destination because there's lots of crime there. Another is a story that says this is a wonderful destination that's relaxed and easygoing uh, and plays on very positive ideas about the Caribbean. I was in the middle of researching in St. Lucia when the fighting between police and gangs in Jamaica broke out. So once back in the United Kingdom, one of the Caribbean's biggest markets I ask UK residents what are the wide media reports of unrest in Jamaica would put them off 
from visiting the island and the wider Caribbean region. This is what they had to say. Like, like I said, you get crime everywhere. So you have good places and bad places, you know, all over across the world. It just depends on which part of the area you go to, really. Well, I don't think so. I mean, Jamaica is a very beautiful country. People always admire to go there. They always want to, actually, I personally do want to go to Jamaica. Um, I heard of some incidents were there in the past, but I don't think so that would discourage anyone to go there to a very beautiful place. Personal perspective, and no, it wouldn't, it wouldn't discourage me. I just have to travel, and um, I kind of, uh, though I'm um, aware of things that happen, I don't tend to try and make it sort of stop me travelling or moving around the world. So, for me, no. Back in St. Lucia, tourism officials wanted more balance in the international media on reports about the Caribbean region. But what I find usually happens, while the media reports the riots and they report all of this, when things return to normalcy and calm has restored, you probably see two lines relating to this. But I think with the same vigor and, and vitality and, and the, the number of pages and everything that the media have used to report it, they should definitely look at, okay, now is the time, we think it's safe. Um, the riots have been quelled. This are the, these are the measures that are now put in, put in place by the government to protect life and limb. I know some media just want the gory details and they want the headlines and they want the sound bites and you know all of that to sell their newspapers. But I think sometimes one needs to recognize the damage maybe this is doing to or the potential damage or the impact it can have on the industry. The Caribbean is made up of many different islands, but they tend to be lumped together. What is happening in one affects another hundreds of miles away. There are two stories to be told, and from what I have found, I'm not sure which one's winning. <laughs>